Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful. My name is Ayub Karim. Welcome to my channel, Quran Inspires Me. Today we are going to deal with from chapter 13 to Surah 17. Chapter 13, verse 16. There are five questions in this ayah alone. So, let us read it. Ask them, who is the sustainer of the heavens and earth? Say, it is God. Then ask, why then do you take as protectors beside him those who have neither benefit nor harm even for themselves? When you acknowledge him as God of the heavens, what stops you from acknowledging him as God of the earth and thus as a law-giving authority? Say, is the blind of reason equal to the seer or is darkness equal to light? Have their so-called partners of God created something like he has created, so that this act of creation appears to them to be similar? Chapter 13, verse 19. Is he, then who knows that what has been revealed to you, in brackets, O Prophet, is a truth from your sustainer, like him who chooses to remain blind? Only those who develop their insight will bear this in mind. Chapter 13, verse 31. The divine law precludes the possibility that a lecture would move the mountains, tear the earth asunder, or make the dead speak. Nay, all decrees belong to God. Do not the believers know that if God had willed, he could have guided all mankind, in brackets, making them driven by positive instincts. Chapter 13, verse 33. There's three questions here. Is there any equal to one who stands witness over what every person does? Yet they ascribe partners to God. Say, name them. Are you informing him of something that he does not know on earth? Or is it a mere show of words? Chapter 13, verse 41. Do they not see that every day on earth brings them closer to the end? Now we come to chapter 14, verse 9. Three questions here. Has not the history of the previous communities reached you? The history of the people of Noah and the Ad and Thamud and of those who came after them? Chapter 14 verse 19. Have you not realized that God has created the heavens and the earth with a sublime purpose? Chapter 14 verse 24. Do you not reflect how God cites an example of a noble ideology as a goodly tree firmly rooted with his branch, swinging high in the heaven. Chapter 14, verse 28. Have you not considered those who exchange God's blessing with ingratitude and lead the people down an abode of utter loss? Chapter 15, verse 22. We send the winds as pollinators that fertilizes plants and cause water to come down from the heights for you to drink. Who holds the stores of the universe? Chapter 15, verse 32. O Iblis, why are you not with those who submitted? Chapter 16, verse 17. Is the one who creates comparable to anyone that cannot create? Will you then not reflect? Chapter 16, verse 20. Those whom they invoke beside God create nothing and are themselves created. Chapter 16, verse 21, in brackets. Powerless are the so-called saints, mystics and monks, whom you make holier and holier with the passage of time. They are dead, disintegrated bodies, not living. They are not even aware when they will be raised, and in brackets, and you still call upon them for help. Chapter 16, verse 22. Your God is one God. Those who do not believe in the afterlife, their hearts refuse to admit they are so proud. Chapter 16, verse 23, in brackets. They deceive people with fancy words and contrive rituals, but God knows the intention and actions and what they conceal and what they reveal. Surely he does not love the arrogant. Chapter 16, verse 24. And when it is said to them, What has your Lord revealed? They say, Fables of ancient times. Chapter 16, verse 25. They shall bear... The burdens undiminished on the resurrection day. 
which part of the burdens of those whom they misled without this revealed knowledge ah evil is what they bear chapter 16 verse 26 those who lived before them had also plotted in bracket against god's way whereupon god struck at the very foundation of all they had built and contrived such that the roofs came in upon them from above and the doom befell them from directions they had not even perceived chapter 16 verse 27 on the resurrection day he will cover them with shame and say where are my partners for whose sake you oppose my guidance chapter 16 verse 30 and to those who live upright it is said what has your lord sent down they say all that is good in brackets the quran ordained people to benefit others for those who do good to others in this world is a goodly return here and the home of the year after will be better pleasant will be the home of those who live upright chapter 16 verse 33 in brackets those who violate human rights wrong their own souls are they waiting for the angels to visit them or that your lord's command comes for the doom chapter 16 verse 35 the idolaters say if god had so willed we would not have worshipped anyone but him neither we nor our forefathers nor would we have forbidden things against his command thus did those before them but are the messengers responsible for other than conveying the message clearly chapter 16 verse 45 can those who devise evil schemes ever feel sure that god will not cause the earth to swallow them or that suffering will not befall them in ways they could least anticipate chapter 16 verse 46 or that his law of requital will not take them to task suddenly in the midst of the comings and goings chapter 16 verse 48 have they not observed the things that god has created chapter 16 verse 52 unto him belongs all that is in the heavens and earth therefore the religion belongs eternally to him in brackets as the source will you then fear other than god chapter 16 verse 71 and god has caused some of you to excel in earning livelihood over others and yet those who are more abundantly provided are often unwilling to share the provision with those who work for them lest all might be equal in this respect will they continue to deny god's blessing in this manner chapter 16 verse 72 will people then stick to false systems in the society and thus turn ungrateful to god's blessings chapter 16 verse 75 god gives you an example of two men one of them is enslaved unable to do anything of his own accord and the other is a free man whom we have blessed with our bounties and he spends of it on others secretly and openly can these two be equal chapter 16 verse 76 god gives you another example of two men one of them is he whose faculties of speech and mind are disabled he cannot do anything of his own accord and he is wholly dependent on his care provider unable to bring forth any good can such a one be equal to the man who is fit enjoins justice and himself walks the straight path chapter 16 verse 79 do they not see the birds held poised in mid air none holds them but god herein are signs for people who wish to attain conviction through reason chapter 17 verse 40 what has your lord distinguished you by giving you sons and chosen for himself daughters in guise of the angels chapter 17 verse 68 you forget that his laws applies to land as they do in the entire universe can you then ever feel sure that he will not cause a dry land to engulf you or let loose upon you a deadly storm whereupon you find none to be your protector chapter 17 verse 69 or can you feel sure that he will not return you to the plight a second time and then let loose upon you a raging tempest and cause you to drown in requital for your ingratitude chapter 17 verse 99 do they not realize 
that God who created the heavens and the earth is able to create them anew in their own likeness again. We end there for now. Until my next video, I am Ayub Karim from Quran Inspires Me. Understand the Quran to experience the revelation. Salamun alaikum. Peace be with you.